So anyway, um, the cool thing about this tractor is all of the levers are color coordinated. You see how you've got different, well you've got an orange one over here, and then you've got the yellow ones over there, then you've got the black ones, okay? So they all do different things. Basically that's the drivetrain. Uh, anything that makes the tractor move forward or reverse is colored in orange, okay? So you've got the throttle right here, all right? You've got the four-wheel drive system is right here. You always run it in four? Uh, no, two-wheel drive when you're mowing. If you need, if you anticipate you need, um, it, the steering radius is going to be messed up. You don't really want to use four-wheel drive on the road or any hard surfaces. Where I'm going to be, I'll just use two-wheel anyway. I'm not going to mow it like crazy like you do. I'll just, you know. Yeah, just around like I do. Keep the yard good. Yeah, I appreciate that. Anyway, um, yeah, the four-wheel drive, you'll figure out how to use that. It's just like a, any other normal four-wheel drive. All right, so the... Uh, Can all these levers be moved without running or do they need to be on? Um, you can move them when they're not on, but it's best to have it on because sometimes they, they don't want to go into gear. Um, the orange lever right next to you, yes, that one right there, that's your hydrostatic to control your low, medium, and high range. You want to typically mow in medium and you can press down on the pedal. It's hydrostatic, so you, forward is forward, back is back. And that's all there is to it. Once your your throttle is set, you're all good. Now you've got the engagement. Yeah, we'll get there. Um, the orange levers. This this is part of it too. You've got your parking brake. You need to press down on the on the brake over there, mm -hmm. and then you press down on that. Go ahead and to release it. Yep. Okay. And then you press press down, and it will. Okay. Go ahead and let off. It'll lock it into place, okay? And all you have to do is touch it, and it comes right back up. Cruise control is right here. Basically, once you have your throttle there, you press that down, and it'll hold the pedal where you want to go. I don't ever use it around here. You don't really need to use it. Um, okay, moving on to the yellow levers. We're looking at the PTO engagements. So, basically, the this lever right here, go ahead and point to that one. You can see there are indications that they've got stickers right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically the arrow showing that it's moving around rotation is on and it is off right now. Okay, and these are the different PTOs that you have. There's two PTOs. There's the rear PTO, all right. You've got the rear PTO and mid PTO, and right now it's set on the mid PTO because mowing. we've got the mowing deck on. Um, when the ropes are up, this is an important safety thing. When you put these up, if you're going someplace, you want to make sure that you have your seatbelt on. If the ropes are down, seatbelt stays off. That way you can get the fuck out of there, you know. All right, so uh, it's got a locking differential, which is really nice. This little lever right here, you press down on the heel of your foot. You want to use that before you actually need it. So you want to keep the wheel straight so it locks both rear wheels. And it'll give you extra traction and you can pretty much move anything at that point with it. It's pretty nice. So um, moving on to this side right here. We have uh, the four-wheel drive like we discussed earlier. But this is going to be your three-point... Um, hitch a lever to uh, actuate how high you can lift the rear end. Um, it's all connected. The mowing deck and the rear end go up together at the same time. So uh, that's how it all works. It's connected together. But down when you're mowing, the mowing deck basically rides on the ground itself. It's not like a, a little lawnmower where it just kind of floats and hovers over. It actually engages the ground and rides on those wheels right there. And that's why it, it mows pretty good. You'll see. So basically, when you got to go over something, you just pull it all the way up. High as far as something. High as yeah, as far as up as you need. Um, if you got, uh, it, if you got a high spot, you're not going to really find too many in my yard. There's like one little spot where there's some rocks and stuff, and I've hit it a couple times and knocked it down. But yeah, I try to avoid rocks at all costs. Anything. Um, but you'll see it pretty much rides on the ground, so it's pretty good. But that's how you lift it up. When I park it, I usually uh, you know bring it over here. There's a couple spots. But uh, put it all the way down when you're mowing and uh, hit the PTO. 
uh, when uh, that's another thing that's kind of important when you engage the PTO you don't want the revs all the way at full RP uh, you don't want it revved up the all the way no you want it at low revs basically off idle so you know uh, I'm not sure what idle is maybe 1200 rpms let's just say engage the PTO low and kind of don't slam it forward kind of go slow and you'll feel it once it goes it goes and then push it all the way in to completely engage it you don't really want to jar it and fuck it up and then once you're engaged fully you crank it down and put it in gear whatever gear you want to go and you and you go that should be me. in neutral when you park it but i've gotten a bad habit of just leaving it in well, gear it'll start obviously not in neutral because you already did yeah yeah. Without the brake, yeah, if it does have safety features in it, if you have your foot on it and you try um, try moving it or you're putting pressure on that pedal, it won't start. But yeah, yeah, it's a good habit to do all that. Pull this out.